Hey guys, Jen Rosemam here, and today I am going to show you a little bit of editing stuff and how I edit using some presets. Specifically, I'm going to show you today the new Fire and Ice presets that I have worked on with Embrace Nation, and um, I will show you guys a link to that at the end. But basically, I'm going to show you a couple quick things. So. This is a shoot actually I did quite a while ago, but um, I wanted to share some different types of images with you, so I figured maybe I should go back and take a look at it, because sometimes we like to re-edit things after. So this is essentially um, pretty much what the photo looked like straight out of camera. I um, increased the blacks on this and um, changed the temperature just a little bit, but for the most part, um, this is pretty much what it looked like out of camera. You can see over here the small adjustments that I've made. Um, and again, even if I just kind of you know took it down, I, oh, here what I did is I lightened the blacks. Maybe it was a little bit too dark. I lightened the blacks. But um, again, this is editing from a few years ago, so maybe what I'll do is I'll just um, yeah, the temperature definitely needs to be adjusted, so I'm going to undo that. But um, I put the blacks closer to neutral, and um, let's see what we can do with this. So presets are an amazing thing because they can be one touch, or they don't have to be one touch, which is pretty cool. So you can choose a preset that you like and um, just click it and change the photo you can be done there or you can keep adjusting. So with the fire and ice presets, the fire presets um, are what Jasmine created and they tend to be for a little bit more moody images. And the ice presets are what I created and they're for a little bit more light. Um, so I tend to use personally the ice a little bit more just because it's something I've created for my workflow. But the fire is amazing also. And I'm gonna show you a couple different examples here. Um, first, I'm gonna go to um, ice 12, which I really loved. Um, you can see just with one click how it changes the, the darkness of the image. Um, it's changing the levels and it's giving a little bit more of a moody feel. So I'm going to undo that so you can see the difference. And then I'm going to do it again. So it's a little bit darker. Um, we can see it comparison here before and after. A little bit darker. This is the original photo so you can see it's a little bit yellow. My white balance was off a little bit compared to the um, photo with the preset on it so that looks really good but I'm gonna undo that and see you know sometimes there's more than one one preset that fits it like here this is definitely giving it a cooler tone this is ice one um, and it might actually work for her I think it actually does work for her um, for her skin to have a little bit of a cooler tone but let's undo that um, you know there's just so many different ways you can go this is ice eight giving it an even moodier, kind of more creamy cocoa feel to it. Um, and then let's go up to some of the fire presets. Um, because this image is already dark, the fire might be even a little too dark. Yeah, you can see on there it's a little too dark. But that's, you know, you don't really know until you play with it. And then what you can do is, if you like something, like this is really pretty, you can still adjust it. So I can take the blacks down if I want to. I can raise the exposure a little bit if I want to. I can you know, change the highlights on here. So presets don't have to be just um, all or nothing. You can do a lot of different changes on here. So maybe I'm gonna increase the shadows. And then this is what that would look like before and after, which also is super beautiful. Um, the key is, you guys, is really to make sure you're starting with a quality image. And if you start with a quality image to begin with, the presets are super easy to use um, and a lot of fun. So let's. 